First of all, how to do a really good curl. And how to do a really good water wave. So we're going to we're going to produce one of these sort of curls. Okay, so taking vertical sections because then it hangs away from the head rather than horizontal sections. I'm just going to clip the hair out away a little bit. And a little bit of protecting spray. Always use a little bit of protecting spray when using any irons. Irons go in, turn 180 degrees. I've still got the ends, pulling the ends to the end, pulling the ends, uh, sorry, pulling the hair right the way through to the ends, pulling the iron through. As it gets to there, I give it a shake and then I wrap it around my finger. And you can use a bobby pin or a peg or a little clip, anything just to hold it in. It's very much like a, when you score a ribbon on a present, it's the same effect. If you get a pair of scissors on a, on a present and you score the ribbon, it then curls back. So the curl is exactly the same. Okay, so my irons go in. I always put my irons in my pocket. Please do not do that at home. <laughs> it's, I've been doing it a long time and I've got about 40 seconds before it gets quite warm. <laughs> so in through to the ends, I've still got hold of the end with one hand. I've turned my irons 180 degrees. I put my finger in here. I give it a bit of a shake to form the curl. I then wrap it around my finger. When the hair is hot, it's really pliable. When the hair cools down, it becomes really, really solid. Okay, now this is our water wave. So we get these beautiful sort of waves. So all we're doing is take a thin section. Here I can do horizontal. All this can be done with a little bit of practice. So I'm just smoothing the hair out first and I'm creating sort of like a, a loop. I'm then clamping it down. When I get to the other end, I fold it back on itself. So when I get to the other end, I fold it back on itself. All the way through to the actual front. Okay. A little bit of protecting spray. Smooth the hair out. And as I get to each end, I'm then creating the curve that I want and clamping my irons down. Now, can anybody just give me a thumbs up to make sure we've still got sound and we're still okay, everybody can still see. We're getting a good thumbs up. Now, the other thing I wanted to do, I'm just going to be brushing this model's hair out. Why I'm doing that, just a little competition, just a little bit of fun competition. Now, if first one to comment to tell me a famous hairdresser from the 60s, that produced a famous hairstyle and the person that he produced that hairstyle on. Okay, so famous hairdresser from the 60s and famous hairstyle that he did. And I'll give you a little tip, he was in London and famous person that he actually did it on. I'll actually send you a little pack of some goodies. So the first one to comment on that. Now, when brushing the hair through, a little bit of hairspray on your brush, but also 
follow your hand through the hair. So if you brush the hair and then lift the hair out, it goes very fly away and very frizzy. But if you brush it and your hand follows it, okay, you can actually calm the hair down. Okay, now what I'm going to do, this is a fairly sort of reasonably easy hairstyle for somebody can actually do on their daughter. So there's a few guys that are getting into doing daughter's hair right now. So all I'm going to do is gently first pinch the hair here. So all I'm doing is just giving a little bit of a a twist through there. Okay. I'm putting my bobby pin in to one side and then back on itself. Okay. So it goes in and then back on itself. just lift the hair slightly. Take my next section here. I tend to like hair that just looks ruffled as well so it doesn't look too done. I'm just going to pop a band on this one. Okay, I'm just going to gently pull out the hair. So once I've got the band in, I can actually pull the hair out. next bit I'm just taking two sections same again quite loose and I'm just tying a knot okay for that I'm then going to pop in a pin either side And lift the hair up. Oops. Took a pin in through there. Okay, my next section. Divided into two. Taking hair from the previous section. And I'm just tying a knot again. So all it is, is just a series of knots, and then I knot it again. Okay. I took my ends under, and I lift the hair out. I take my pin here, pull this round, gently pin the hair in. Okay, so now I'm just popping my bobby pins in. Spreading the hair around. That just gives me a really nice loose, loose sort of curl. 
these areas here. I can quite easily just loop those back into the hair. So I just get this real nice softness. So that was just a series of sort of knots. Now, my second model, I'll pop her here. 